Right, welcome back to Spitting the Dripper Reviews and today we're doing a hardware review on the Aspire NX100 box mod. Really looking forward to doing this. Also we've got the Fatboy Chubby Glass for the Cleto 120 which we're going to be installing onto the 120 Cleto and we'll put that onto the box and show you that as well. Now a little bit of an introduction for the Aspire NX100 will be this. The Aspire NX100 represents Aspire's commitment to supply the very best quality in vaping industry. Presenting Aspire's first high level mod that is powered by a single 26650 battery for advanced battery life and power. The Aspire NX100 will give you the battery life to vape all day at the power settings you desire. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the box, we're going to show you in and around it, we're going to talk about specs, we're going to talk about the sizes, we're going to show you 510, the USB, all that sort of stuff, all the goodiness we normally do. And also we're going to be installing the Fatboy Glass onto the Cleto 120 and showing you the 4300 mAh 26650 battery. Catch us back in a minute. Right, welcome back to Spitting the Dripper Reviews and uh, like we said to you before, we're doing a bit of hardware as well as we're doing a replacement glass for the Cleto 120, the fat boy which we're going to be showing you in a minute, but it's the, it's the, the big boy one, you know what I mean, not the, not the normal glass. Um, and then obviously the 26650 battery as well, we're going to be showing you that. But this is the main little beauty that we're going to be showing you, which is the new NX100. Like a big up Darren from uh, officialaspire.co.uk for sending this over to us. Nice one Darren, thank you. Big up Darren. Right, and it says, perfection starts with precision design and development. The Aspire NX100 represents Aspire's commitment to produce the very highest quality vaping products. The NX100 features refined lines and high level design accents throughout the design. The five button system is ultra intuitive with one button navigation between temperature control and wattage control. So these two here. To top off superior design and ease of use is a premium finish which is one of a kind. NX100 is set to change the accepted quality levels across the industry. When you can get this in black, red and white, as you can see we've got this in red. Spring loaded 510 as well. And the dimensions are 78mm high, 45mm in depth and 30mm across. Um, top button is your fire button, the next two down, the one looking at as you're looking at it on your left is the T button the temperature the W button is the next one which is wattage button you have a 0.96 inch TFT color screen yeah. and at the bottom you have your plus and your minus buttons and to the side is your micro USB port that's this side that's for firmware updates <clears throat> right basically before we start should we talk to them a little bit about this little sleeve that you get yes. inside. Now if you see this little black sleeve, I mean this is great, like if you've seen the NX1, uh, NX75 that we did a review on, as you know this pulls out like a, almost like a cartridge, just pulls out and that's where your battery would normally go. Now this, this little black sleeve I'm going to take out and show you, this is for an 18650, so you can run this on 26650 without the cartridge, 18650 with the cartridge, with the 18650 it runs to 75 watts like the NX75 does, and with the 26650 it runs at 100 watts which I think is a great little feature just to have this little you know so you can have both batteries mm. if your 26650 ain't charged whacking an 18650 you know so I think that's a good little feature now we're going to leave this little tube out for a minute because we're going to go straight in with a 26650 so I'm just going to uh, get that out I think that's a great little idea just uh, having this simple little awesome. sleeve, I think it's great. I like this as well, on the sides here, I don't know if you can quite see, but it says your minus and pluses on the on the top and on the bottom, as you can see them there. So obviously your plus, which would be the protrusion end, will be going in this way. And then same again on the box, it says minus at the top and plus at the bottom. So you can't go wrong, so you just line your plus up with the plus. And as soon as she goes in like this, I'm just going to slide her in. Like so, bang, screen will come on, as you can see there. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, choose, it lets you choose whether you want 26650 or 18650. So we're going to choose 26650 by pressing the fire button, and there you can see the nice screen. Um, if you're holding these two, which is a new feature, if you're holding the wattage and the temp control together, you can change the screen colours. Um, let me just try that for you. You see the screen colour changing? And you can flick through the different colours and stuff like that and, all, and go through all that stuff. Um, as you can see there, see the little run of colours down the side? Then just you use just your W like or your T button yeah, to see select which colour. Right, watch the colours changing. That's for your background colour, the W's and the T's. 
That's brilliant. And then use your plus or minus button to select your text colour, and there's 12 options. Wicked, isn't it? So every time you press this, you can change the background colours and stuff like that as well. As, as with the NX75, it's the same. You can customise the screen, um, child lock as well. Right, so do you want to talk about the buttons to do that so we quickly take them through it? Right, the NX100 allows you to customise your mod with just a few button clicks. No, no firmware or connecting to computer required. Ease of use is a key feature of the NX100. So to change logo function, press T and minus simultaneously for two seconds to enter or exit change logo settings. There we go. So this is for customising. See where it says Aspire? Uh, let's hold it right way around for you. So it says Aspire, you can customise that and turn that into anything you want. Like on, on my one, I've got it saying Good Cop. You can put whatever you want on there, you know. And yeah, to do this, you press the plus and the minus buttons to select letters and then press As the fire button to confirm. This button to confirm them. You use your W button to delete and the T button to select between lowercase and capitals. I'm just going to come out of that now, so we're back to normal screen. Which you, Again, you just hold in the T button and the minus button to come straight back out. Mm. Quick keys. Right, quick keys. Right. So, with the W button... Navigate you... through different vape modes with quick button combos. Simply press W and T button to easily switch between wattage and temperature modes. And also, you've got your curve setting. So, first of all, you've got your wattage, then you've got voltage, then you've got your bypass mode, and then you've got your three curve settings, which is C1, C2, and C3. Now, basically, what they do, the curve settings, as I'm, I'll actually show you as it goes, I'll put, here, I'll put a tank on just quickly show you now basically what that will do is as you're let me get a curve up so we're going to go with curve one as you're holding it in it's going to start a higher vape and start gradually dropping itself in can you see it dropping gradually going down in strength and so you can adjust how you'd like to vape so instead of having to like press the button and perhaps let go and have a bit of a cool vape afterwards and continue to vape you can have that fluctuating and going high and low which obviously we, sh we showed you in the NX75 as well uh, which I think is a great feature and uh, it's fully adjustable as well once you're in them curve settings you can press your minus and plus and go through each one uh, 0.5 and one second and change it to how you want so you can have it starting at 75 next one you know 35 coming down to 25 or you can have it staying at 75 quite a while then dip in a bit it's fully customizable which I think is a great feature but yeah um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly take off this glass off the off the original Clear 120 and I'm going to show you this fat boy glass the new one that's out and show you what that looks like on as well and then we're going to fill it up and have a vape on this baby so yeah I'll just unscrew this top I like the idea of the customization the child lock which that's is great. always a good one as well it's great you know so yeah let's just take this glass off that's the old glass time um, for the big boy yeah which, I mean, it's going to give you a lot more juice power, especially for when you're using the RTA. I mean, I use that quite a lot, the RTA set on this for, for the actual Cleto 120. But you just slide it straight back on. And there you go, there's your, there's your big boy glass. I'm just going to put the lid back on. As you do. Screw that straight on. Threads on these are lovely, by the way. Yeah. I've noticed with all the Aspire stuff we do, everything seems to be well made. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know. Right, just shut off the airflow before I fill this up. So yeah, there's your fat boy glass, which will be wicked for when you've got your RTA in there, because the RTA does steal a bit of your space for your juice. But um, yeah, I'm just going to fill this up. And don't forget you can add these up at www.officialaspire.co.uk. Big up to Darren for sending these over to us for purpose of the review. Yeah, big up Darren, thank you. And although I'm big thumbs with the buttons there, they do actually do what they say on the tin. If you look on the website or in the manual, it tells you what to do and what buttons do what. Um, maybe with the child lock you may need an update before you can use that but I know the NX75 definitely had it I know it doesn't say much on there about that but I'm sure this one will do it as well but if not then basically you've just got your colour changing your curve settings your stuff like that as well as obviously you can adjust the uh, the name of there what you want it saying on there rather than just saying Aspire just having a quick look aha child lock there Press W and minus simultaneously for two seconds to enter or exit child lock mode. There you go. And then you can put in your own code and your own number. Yeah. Press plus so or minus button to select the numbers and press fire button to confirm. There you go. So the original no password is 000. 
choose arrow symbol to reset user needs input to input the password to lock or unlock that's brilliant so, so it has got it then it has got it so if you've seen our nx75 you know the, the review on that you will see that it's pretty much the same buttons as this the only difference is that this one's got the color changing screen which i think is a good little feature yeah you know put it to what colors you want i mean especially because this is a red box it'd be nice to have like a a dark background with red font mm. and set that right off yeah. you know so we will be having to mess around with that afterwards just going to quickly cut it's just really old some juice especially with just the stock coils in yeah I mean, it's even more it's holding because the RBA section for the 120 really is. is big, but it is nice. Yeah, I mean, right. it does it work good. and I yeah. like it. Yeah, and you can put some where it's got the velocity style deck and also a lot of build room. You can put some really nice builds in there, you yeah. know, especially with this 26 650. I mean, that's going to be good because you've got quite a lot of power to be using there, you know, up to 100 watts. I mean, you could even put a dripper on this and you know, and run it quite a high watt. Right, so there we go, we're full up. Lovely looker with the box, looks really nice and effective. So, yeah, let's put this into wattage mode. Turn this right up to about, I'd say, about 80 watts. And as you can see, it scrolls quite fast. All right, let me do it for the start slow and then starts building up quite fast. We're just going to take this up to 80. go 80 watts let's have a vape let's open the air rolls up that looks really nice mm -hmm. it's a big old glass isn't it <laughs> wow really instant i like the way there's no rattle at all on this box. nothing at all uh, nothing even when you get a rattle vigorous one there's no rattle at all really good and what we're 4300 mark that battery's going to last it's a gonna, while. It should last a while. You know? yeah. Especially if you're not going too high on the vapes, you know what I mean? If you're, if you're between a sort of 60 to 80 watt sort of area, mm. it's going to last a long while. A long while. That's lovely. Crackling away like a good one. It's lovely. It's really instant. I love them non rattly buttons. I think that's really good. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. And we love this Steez cake as well. We're using a bit of Steez cake on this, but um, as you can see there, but it's, we know what it tastes like. But in the Cleo, you know, the 120 as well as the original, you know, they're just made for flavour. They're really nice, mm. as well as they chuck an amazing cloud. No. That's nice. It looks good, I mean, well, it? I know the juice is amazing anyway, but you are, it's instant. You know? Instant. I know. Straight it's away. wicked, isn't it? Pucker. Really nice bit of kit. Really impressed with that. And like again, let me just, uh, so if you press it, let me just uh, get this on. Right, so if you press it three times, one, two, three, it goes into stealth mode, so you can fire without having a light on. One, two, three to put it back into normal mode. And five buttons, one, two, three, four, five, that will lock it. Then they hold down on the button, and then it shuts off. Simple as that. And to turn it back on, one, two, three, four, five, straight back on. Instant button. And great button functions, mm. you know. And child lock mode is W and the minus button simultaneously for two seconds to enter or exit. Right. So yeah, just on the edges, if you just hold like right on the edge like that, it works a lot better. And there's obviously you can put in your child locks, you know. Again, going through them like this and selecting them in. And then basically same to get out of that would be your double, W and your minus again. See what I'm going to come out, there you go, straight out. So yeah, so we've got quite a lot of functions on there. Um, ease of use with the W as well, I like the way you can go through voltage, bypass, as well as your curve settings, which I really like them curve settings. I'm going to actually use one right now. So uh, let's go for this one, which is like a, an eagle type shape. You know, it's going to be quite high, dipping low and then coming up high again afterwards. If I just show you that, um, what way around this way. Watch it dip. See it calmly coming off, and it'll come back on again, isn't it? So yeah, I'm gonna try this, see what it's like. Because it does adjust the way that the juice can taste as well, you know, them curve settings, I've, I've used them on the NX75, and it can pull some different types of flavors out for you as well. It's, it's quite strange, and until you use it, you don't really understand what it does until you have a feel of it, and it's really nice, so yeah. I mean, one of our uh, subscribers, we met at Expo, Manny, and lovely fella, and uh, 
we got talking to oh. him about the curve and he loves it. He now understands it, he uses yeah. it and he loves it, you know. That curve's brilliant. I mean, as you were saying about flavours, you know, different wattages nice brings out different flavours. It gives you a little blaze in the middle and then comes back up again. Have a try. Hold it right down, have a good old breeze. Feel it? It dips and then gives you a little boost in the middle, like a, like a little rod does, mm. and then straight starts building again. What a great kit. I mean, it's a great idea, the curve. I mean, you use it on the 75. I, mean, I know, mainly you only see them sort of things on DNA boxes and mm. stuff, but this is really inspirational to be seeing it on this, you know, and, and obviously it's on the NX75 as well. I like it. I think it's a beautiful bit of kit. And uh, what's the colours again? Black? Black, white and red. So, I mean, so and meant 12 different colours to customise your screens with. Well, a lot of people like the white one as well, because if you have the white box and you have a white tank, um, and then you have this big fat boy glass and then fill it with like something like um, uh, you know the uh, blue slush yeah then it starts looking a bit like a, a water dispenser it does you know I mean this is where your cup comes out and you fill it and this is going to be your water holder your blue water is going to be in there you know, so all in white really looks effective as well and mm. I've, I've seen a few Instagram shots that look really nice but I do like the black as well but um, yeah don't use the USB for charging really unless you're in a major emergency it's mainly for firmware upgrades do take the battery out and charge it that way it's the best way to do yeah. it um, yeah, but this has been the NX100. It's also been the Aspire Cleto 120 um, Fatboy Glass. Plus, we've been using the 26650. Um, and don't forget, you've got the little sleeve for the 18650 adjustment, plus your USB and stuff like that for firmware upgrading. I've really enjoyed this. I think it's brilliant. Don't forget to check out their juices as well, which we've done a review on. You'll see that as well. They've got plenty of like um, affiliated juice companies that's on their website as well at www.officialaspire.co.uk. Don't forget to subscribe to us. Tell all your friends about us. Add us up on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, as well as Facebook. Um, yeah, all I can do is big thumbs up to Darren for allowing us to, to review this because what a great bit of kit. Yeah, I like it. It's beautiful. I know I was a bit fumsy, but now you've shown me the edge, the edge pinch, and that seems to go in a lot, a lot better. And then yeah. obviously on the side here, you've got your, your little Aspire logo that says on there, just faint, you can't really see it because of the sun, but it does say Aspire along here. Um, and yeah, you've got your air vents on the bottom. Spring loaded 510, like we said. Really nice buttons, like no clickiness. Uh, sorry, no rattleness, but more like good little clickies. It's really nice. What I'm going to do is just turn this off. I'm just going to take out this battery and just give them one quick look at the battery just before we go. What a beast. <laughs> it, <is laughs> as it goes. 4,300 mile, like we said. Real. Real nice bit of kit. So yeah, catch us back next time on Spitting Your Dripper Reviews.